Right, I'm uh, going to move on with our next presenter. He's really nervous, actually, so I want you to be really, really gentle with him. <laughs> he's not used to doing it, and uh, he's just confessed to me how, how nervous he is. Uh, although he's, slightly, he's got the slight advantage in that he holds the remote, he holds the clicker. If he, if he abuses it, I want you to tell him off. So anyway, uh, I say he's really nervous because he's not used to doing it yet, but then, you know, give him a taste of what it's like to get up here and do it. So I want to give a big round of applause for our very own Richard Mickey! <laughs> Thanks for letting everyone know just how nervous I was. Uh, there I Cheers. Uh, hello everybody, can you all hear me? Right, am I ready? Yes. Right, okay. So I, I'd like to talk to you about better culture since we put it on together. I'd like to talk to you about um, what I think is the tower of better culture. So to, uh, to paraphrase Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon, I like to think of it as the art of presenting without presenting. Um, any Enter the Dragon fans will understand exactly what I mean. So we have three rules. Um, there's 20 slides, 15 seconds in every slide, and no pitching. Um, some people have come very close to that. But the constraints allow a lot of creativity and it allows people to tell some marvellous stories. Um, now, there was a time um, where PowerPoints were full of uh, charts and millions of bullet points and loads of text. Now, it's always BBK or Before Better Culture. <laughs> Thank you. I'll move that one on the door. Um, so, but what Better Culture does is it allows you to show your passion. Um, passion for me sells everything, um, it, it gets things done, it gets decisions made. It's how ideas um, come about, so it's, it's vital. Um, and that, that's what all the Better Culture presenters do, they show a hell of a lot of passion that comes through. Um, it's about creativity as well. Now, anyone can be creative, even an accountant can be creative. Um, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, they can, um, but that's, that's, what, that's what comes through. So it, it's, it's about being creative. You don't have to be an artist, but you need to do that. Now, while you're up here, you're the expert. You've got a microphone, um, and what you say goes. However, all you know to people out there who are tweeting going, which is rubbish. <laughs> but at the minute, I can't see that. I'm going to get really annoyed when I get back and see all the, see all the slates that I'm going to get. Um, one of the things that, that the constraints does is it, it, you've got five minutes and you've got the slides, so you need to keep it simple. So we've had people um, uh, present about quantum physics twice in here, I'm sure, I'm sure he's in here. Um, but that can be done in five minutes, but you need to get rid of all the clutter and the rubbish. Now, bullets, this is, this is the anti-better culture. This is the anti-creativity, and this is what people normally do. They take a slide, they take PowerPoint, and they fill it full of shit. <laughs> and then they read it to you, which comes to my next slide, which is going to go on there. And I don't need to say much more than that. I can read. I don't need you to stand there and read what I can bloody see. Email it if you're crying out loud. I've, I've travelled all, all this way. None of the people have paid to come here tonight. You don't want someone to read a sobbing screen. Don't do it. Just leave. Leave reading the screen. Now, for better culture, those, we've, we've done all the rules, but other than that, you can do what you like. You can talk, you can sing, you can tap dance, you could do semaphore, you could mine. We had some in mind, and we had some complaints about mining, but there's no rules about mining allowed for that. Now, the audience is vital. Make sure, make sure you, you, you speak to the audience. Um, if you're really clever, you can get something for the audience to tweet, so 140 characters. So just for something that you don't know about me, at the weekend I took part in a magnum shooting competition. There you go. Uh, don't panic, as, as the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy says, don't panic. It's, it's only five minutes at the end of the day, and no matter how nervous you are, you'll feel a real buzz when you're finishing your gut off. You have to just keep going. Uh, better culture can be really unrelentless. So you have to just have to keep going. Those slides, once I start them, once I give you the nod, you're off and running and they're not going to stop. So if all else fails, just keep talking. Just talk and talk and talk and talk until they stop. Or, or somebody just shouts at you. Now, Funny is tricky because a lot of people think that you could perceive best culture as a kind of a stand-up night, and it's not. Um, we've had all sorts of presentations on, but people who really try to be funny normally fail. I'm naturally probably the most unfunny person you'll ever meet. Um, now, practice, practice, practice makes perfect, presumably. Now, anyone who's Mal read Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Outliers, will know that he reckons you need 10,000 hours to become proficient at whatever you're doing, like the Beatles and all those other people. Now. Malcolm's not always right because we've got lovely people who just come and wing it. So the people who come and do the random challenges, they have no idea just how vicious and nasty I've been when I've been set up late at night trying to put the good things together. 
So they just have to react. So that's where practice goes out the window and just your natural reaction comes in. Now, again, to paraphrase Bruce Lee, don't think, feel. Be the PowerPoint. <laughs> Sorry to get a bit zen there. But again, back to the audience. You, you, do, you do need to, you need to play to the audience. You, you guys have all come here to listen to people's passions. And to be fair to you, God bless you, you have no idea what the hell weird shit is in people's heads when they stand up here. Um, so you do need to do that. And but as part of that, you, again, the audience is really vital because you sit there, you Twitter away, and you're blogging, you're taking pictures, and it spreads like wildfire. I've, uh, there's tweets we look at afterwards where people have said, Jesus, what a crass, why have I not gone to better culture? I'm so gutted that I missed that. So what I'd like to call now, after two years and almost 20 events, I'd like to now pronounce that we are ABK. Any ideas what I'm standing for? Now you've got all somebody paying attention, well done. Um, so yeah, so I'd like to say, I'd like to now pronounce after BK and the death of bullet points. Thank you.